What's new in the 21st February build of Fluid ROM based on Android 11 running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro? Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you what is new in the 21st February build of Fluid ROM based on Android 11 running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. In case you want to learn how to install this ROM, have a look at the features of previous builds. We do have separate videos for those which can be found in the description of this video. So for this build, the first change you will notice is that they have switched from Fluid Kernel to Immensity Kernel. The build date here is from Sunday, February 21. SE Linux is set as enforcing and of course the ROM build is also from February 21st and yes this is the official version of Fluid version being 1.2. Other than that, they have made some bug fixes which does include USB OTG has been fixed then they have also added support for ANX camera along with portrait mode now we do have a separate video showing you how to install ANX camera on Android 11 based custom ROMs which can be found in the description of this video next up they have added a toggle to enable or disable the quick settings media player so as you can see right now the media player is not a part of the quick settings where do you find this toggle you can go into settings fluid customization third option quick settings enable the toggle quick settings media player it does require a UI restart so let us go into restart and restart the system UI once that is done FOD in the building works without any issues and BAM here it is you can now see that the media player is part of the quick settings now an important thing I would like to mention over here is that you have a duplicate setting so if you go into settings sound and then if you go into media you have this toggle as well however this one does not work so let us disable this and now if I restart the system UI and then unlock the device let us open the quick settings you will see that the controls are still part of the quick settings so the toggle which you have to enable or disable is in fluid customization and the quick settings option next up they have also added new MD style icons in the power menu so here is your power menu restart and BAM here it is these are the new MD style icons for your power menu so those are the new features which they have added other than that let us check for safety net so here it is my device is not rooted right now i have only installed magisk manager to check for safety net safety net is passing without any issues let us also open the google play store and we can go into settings here it is device is certified this means all your banking apps should work without any issues in terms of youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine live caption works picture in picture works and as you know for picture in picture to work without any issues either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country next up let us check for widevine support so here it is drm info and as you can see security level is l3 which means your prime video and netflix is going to play without any hd then we can check for hey google so this is one of the bugs which i found hey google does not work neither with the screen turned on nor with the screen turned off let us go into default applications digital assistant app here it is voice match as you can see it is disabled i am going to enable it but when i come back and check for it it is going to be disabled again so here it is voice match there it is so it is not getting enabled and this i think is an issue with the current build then we can also check for portrait light feature so let me open the google photos application try to edit this picture let us go into edit mode and let us go into adjust do we see the option for portrait light we don't let us go back edit it one more time wait for this bar to finish and there it is if you go into adjust now we do have the feature of portrait light and 
as you can see it is working without any issues now another issue which i have noticed in this build is that the 5 gigahertz wi-fi connection for starters when you reboot the device it does not connect right away and then the second thing i have noticed is that speeds on 5 gigahertz wi-fi are not as fast as they are or as they should be so that is another issue which i have noticed next up let us check for app opening animations and as you can see app opening animations are pretty smooth no jitters and no lags recents bam here it is looks pretty smooth and pretty fast let us screenshot it bam screenshot works without any issues another thing to note here is that this is the g apt build of fluid for the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and the default launcher which you get is fluid launcher which is why you do not have the option of select here you have the option of clear all next up let us try to access our google feed and as you can see no jitters and no lags in the google feed now in terms of security you do have face unlock which does work without any issues there is no screen of fod on this build but you do have double tap to wake and then the fod does work without any issues so let us try it one more time double tap to wake bam fod working without any issues so what is the final take on this build well fluid on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro is not like you know you expect a rom to grow fix the bugs but that's something which is not happening over here hey google issue has been there previously it used to work without the screen turned off but now it's not working either with the screen turned on or the screen turned off other than that the wi-fi issue has also been introduced in this build so in my humble opinion the developers do need to get the foot down and iron out these bugs because right now the rom for the redmi k20 pro seems to be going backwards and i am disappointed why well because that is not the case with the poco f1 so there it is peeps that was the new features and the issues which i found in the latest build of fluid rom based on android 11 running on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.